Yeah, we're actually going to make some progress today. I feel it. Although, you know what? We have been making progress. Just we've gotten lost at the same time. But because of getting lost, we've made progress. Progress. But anyways, we're going to be playing some Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind tonight. Um, Finn Finally was the name of my save. Because I had a hard time spelling last night. It was late. Streamed for a long time yesterday. <laughs> but here we are. We have made it to uh, the burial site here to complete our initiation rite for uh, Urshlaku Ursh 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 Camp. Let's heal. Good start to the night twice. There we go. All right. Let's go. These are neat statues. It looks like they're holding feathers or something. Get wrecked, rat. Oh, skull, bro. Ooh, we need to repair our weapon. I really like this glass blade here, but for some reason, it it feels like it just breaks super quickly. Yeah. I wonder if that's just a thing about glass weapons in general. Not a whole lot of opposition so far. Oh, nope. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Yeah, get stuck right there. That's good. Doing a good job. Real good job. There we go. Nice. Iron shield. Got three of my bolts back. I like it when that happens. I'm assuming that's because our marksman skill is going up. Hmm. Yo, this place is spooky. Shadow, how's it going? I'm not late. It's it's a bonus stream. It's bonus. <laughs> how's it going, man? How you doing? How was Tuesday? I hope your Tuesday was better than your Monday. On a day you don't stream. That's right. <laughs> womp womp. Had my stitches removed. Oh, and how'd that go? Yee. Uh, um, is this how this is supposed to go? Is the bow hidden down here? What, what is happening? This doesn't seem right. Oh, there's a, it's a door. Can I make that jump? Not bad. They didn't even have to numb me. Took me about five minutes and I was out. Oh, that's good. Oh, <laughs> let's try the. Let's try that again. I can make this. Oh. But if we go around this way. Oh, here we go. This this is how it's done. No. Oh no, I hit I hit the ceiling. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh Oh, and Shadow, we found the camp. I streamed way too long yesterday. But we found... Uh, not that we found the camp, but we found our way to the burial site. Oh, yes. That was the meeting. <laughs> was I dead tired? No, I was okay. I was alright. I still got, like... Seven hours of sleep, so I was fine. As long as I get at least six, 
I'm usually good to go. <laughs> but the um, the uh, meeting went went pretty well. A lot of it, like the the hard part about it, was was all the prep that I had to do. Um, I finished all the prep like five minutes before. It was cutting it right down to the wire. As long as I get four hours, of, wow, dude, at four hours, I wouldn't even be able to speak right. I would have to like not be in any meetings all day. It would be bad. I used to be able to get away with like two to three when I was younger. But uh, yeah, I can't do that now. Pretty sure it's because of kids. They just take a lot of work. That and maybe getting a little bit older. That might have something to do with it too. <laughs> it's getting spooky. I am's an old man. I am. Whoa. Can I get over there? Are you really dead? Dead adventurer. Water spear. It's 1500. It's worth 1500. Wow. And I'm over encumbered. What? The? Why does stuff weigh so much? This weighs 20 pounds, and it's only worth 105. Goodbye. Oh my gosh! Oh, this place is huge, eh? Hmm. Nice. Fantastic jump there. That was great. Look at all these skulls. Where do, where do you think they got them all, huh? All right, here's here's a way up. Get one shot, rat. Ladder is burial. You know where you get all your skulls? Where's that? Oh no, dude. This place is huge. There's something in the water. Nah. Fabio! How's it going, man? Look! We got to the cave! Amazon, where else? <laughs> okay. So they're legit, then. <laughs> it's a nice-looking waterfall. Uh-oh. Uh Be very careful. Okay. Oh my gosh! Uh. Hi! Oh my gosh! Restoration, a mummy. Oh, this is great. Um. Yo, have there been more of those that that I missed? Maybe. Uh oh. Uh oh. How do I get out of here? Aha. There we go. Okay. Cool. Well that 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 was worth. Let's go. Makes me wonder if I've missed any others uh of those zombies. I mean mummies.
I realize that I just passed the door. We're gonna have to come back. Oh my gosh, another door. Kefka burial? Oh my goodness, this place is huge! Oh no. My goodness. Shall we start from the top then? Kakuna. Wait. <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> Oh, there's something right there. Juno. Oh, man. <laughs> Netch leather. Are you holding anything like the other one was? Oh, no. Oh, oh, what's that? What's that? Amulet of Frost. Yeah. Oh, there's another one right there. Oh, no! We're good. Gotta be careful. All right. Oh, yeah. Glass Greaves. Am I wearing Glass Greaves right now? I'm wearing Glass Boots. Nine pounds, and these boots are three pounds. Yo, these are worth so much, though. Dizzy, how's it going? What is up? Hmm. Yeah. Look at us, too. Look. Uh, we have the Daedric Face of Inspiration now, and then we got some glass... We got a glass cuirass. Glass... Oh, we do have glass greaves. And glass boots. And a glass sword. And this awesome Eladon's Ward shield. Yeah. We're growing up. <laughs> uh, I guess... Is this a... A gargoyle? Oh, <gasps> you have a sword. Uh, oh boy. I want it all, though. Save. Save. Save's coming. <laughs> cool. What is this? Mage Bane. For 32,000. 16 pounds, though. One to f What? It's a special glass sword, from the looks of it. I am over-encumbered. Yep. <laughs> uh, I think a lot of it has to do with these eggs and such, so let's, um... You know, since since we're standing here and all, uh, let's, let's make some potions. Forty-eight bone meal. Wow. Uh. Hmm. Saltries. What we really need to get rid of is these eggs. If that sword got a different name, it's unique. Nice. And it's all mine. Mine! We got some bloat in there. Nice. Okay. 
Got anything else that, like, got a lot of that might be heavy? Netch leather. Drain personality. Alright, cool. We got 50 pounds now. We're good. We're good. Alright. Um, actually, you know what, too? Let's, um... Mage Bane. I'm gonna use it. Yeah. Also, we should probably make it a favorite. Look at this thing. It looks awesome. All right, ready? Oh, no, it's two-handed. No! Well... Oh, why? Why am I walking? Uh, um. Oh. Can we make this jump? Okay, why? Why am I walking? Why? Oh my gosh, look at us. So athletic. Glass Claymore. Oh, that's what it is. It looks awesome. Uh, I'm I'm wondering, though, it's two-handed, so I wonder if we're not going to be able to hit anything with it. Well, let's... Ooh. No! We're fine. I guess that just doesn't hurt at all. Found a package in my door. I forgot I ordered something. Sculpting, sculpting materials last week. Nice. What you sculpting today? You hit rarely, but when you hit, it hurts. <laughs> we'll see. Nice. Uh, hello. All right. I'm starting to. Hmm. They wouldn't have these things here for nothing, I would imagine. Okay. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna try to get my close friend's character from his book. Oh, cool. Um. I can't make this jump, can I? Oh no! We're so close! Well, this is what the stream's gonna be. Um, wait, can I? I got that sword from. Nope. Already okay. Already looked in there. Nope. Nope. No. There we go. Nah. Okay. Oh my gosh, pro. Pro video gamer. Yeah. That's us. Now, how the heck do we get up there? I feel like everything we keep jumping on... Oh, gosh. We just keep getting stuck on. No! Don't, don't be a jerk! Game! What just happened here? Mira, come on. Okay. Nice. Uh Oh, oh no, not not that. Nope, not not nope. In case you're wondering, this is what we look like. Okay. <laughs> You'll float too. 
<laughs> oh! Oh! Somehow I took no damage. It's because I'm so athletic. Watch there be nothing in that urn. He got unstuck and then I'm still lost. No, I know exactly where I want to go right now. My goodness. I made that jump last time, right? I'm not making that up, am I? Clearly not athletic enough. Clearly. Screw you, game. Okay. Go, go, go! Alright, 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 alright. We're gonna go from here to all the way over there. Although, could we jump right there? <laughs> oh no. Uh, there you go. Good job. Thank you. GG's all around. Imagine if there were enemies here. Respawning enemies at that. You know what? Since since I'm down here. Fragile burial. It's fragile in here. Oh my gosh. Am I being punished for not working on my levitate skill or my um yeah my levitate is that what it would be yo it's dark hey <laughs> come here yo <laughs> i guess it works so i guess it doesn't matter whether or not i'm good at two hand yeah certainly some areas are designed for levitation and or telekinesis yeah for sure for sure. What's funny is that I sold like everything that I had for telekinesis. Oh my gosh, one shot. Dude, this weapon is something. Oh, and look at this. Dead adventurer. Last rites. Why would this weigh 30 pounds? I think I'm just gonna have to leave it. So pretty, yep. You know what would be great? Is if I could get up there without having to use a levitation potion or something. Especially because the last time I tried to use it, I think I used it wrong. Firebite War Axe. It's only worth 25.
Okay. Blah. Dead dude is very dead. Alright, so this sword's pretty boss, right? Now all we have to do is hope that I don't break it. Okay. What do we got? You know what? I do have those scrolls as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, it's a ghost. Ancestor goes, get out of here. And now you did. This dungeon has quite unique design, not your average dungeon. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yesterday we did a place called like Falls Marion or something like that, and that place was cool too. This is before ledge grabs were a thing. Keep that in mind, right? Nice. Enchant has gone up. You know, because I use that a lot. This is trapped. <laughs> okay, it's all it's also locked. Eh, woo! <laughs> right, and yeah, because I use that a lot. Yeah, thank you for the enchantment. Uh I'll 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 put it to good use. All right, spirit of the thing. Close. How you should know us: death, defeat, and fear. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, I jumped so high. Ooh, what? What's in your hand? Okay. No. 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 No! No! The book on Daedra, written by themselves, looks like an enchanted item of some kind. Yes, that's why I want it. I must have it. It is the precious. All right, you know what? <laughs> My precious. Let's see, do we have a scroll of levitate? Warping, damage health, damage luck, intelligence. And open! Fortify speed, fatigue. Soul trap. Greater domination. Am I seeing a bit of stress? Nah! No, nah, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm surprised that I don't have anything that allows me to to float. Tavani bug musk, water breathing, telekinesis. Okay, this gives me levitate, but how do I use it? Every time my wife and I eat fish, uh, we sing, sing Golem song. 
Now we wish to catch a fish. So juicy, sweet. <laughs> Luckily, the game doesn't model what happens to your character's meniscus from all that jumping. Nah, I'm I'm trained. I'm trained. I don't get hurt. You drink it and then just look up and press forward. Really? That's that's how it works. <gasps> oh no! Give me it. What was that? A bone charm? Bone saw. Summon skeletal minion. Look, mom flying. Was that worth it? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> we did it. Woo. <laughs> yeah, but I already had a grave ward ring. I'm not really entirely sure if that was actually good for us. Random piece of dust just flying around here. Alright, Kafka Burial. Here we go. Whoop! Oh, you blocked. Oh, you're alive! <laughs> Still. Kappa Burial, yeah. Gonna be very sarcastic. No, Mira. No. Oh. Yeah, there we go. And nothing. I think this said Kefka, like Final Fantasy. Drocurus. Yo. It's worth so much. It's weird. There's bubbles coming up through there. Never played Final Fantasy. Any of them? Wow. Kafka is from uh, Final Fantasy 6 NA. Or Final Fantasy 6 Japan. Fi Final Fantasy 3 NA. Wow. Um, are you are you not into like uh like turn based? Their console mostly, right? I never owned. Um, they they came they started coming to PC um, like five years ago. Um, I don't think all of them are on PC yet, but for the most part, like the most popular ones, I think are on are, are on PC. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of skeletons. Whoa, and I'm almost dead. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. There we go. Not much of a fan of JRPGs in general. Never tried playing one, but they seem a bit silly to me. <laughs> I I enjoy them. But, um... They... Especially, like, the... The ones that are, like, the, uh... Why can't I think of what I wanted to say? The ones with the battle system that's kind of like you're on the battlefield, but you're not moving or anything. You're just picking what it is that you're doing. I was a big fan of that gameplay when I was a kid. We also played Final Fantasy VIII on stream like, I think it was just about two years ago. XCOM, Battlestar Galactica, Deadlock, and Heroes of Might and Magic. Okay. In terms of term... Okay. I think we talked about this as well. And what's funny is that XCOM is the game that I need to return to. I beat the game uh, when, when we played it a few years ago. <clears throat> Basically means I got the worst ending and I lost. Uh, Someday you might suck less at magic. Maybe. But probably not. 
Why is this thing only worth 30? It's worth 105 value, but the weight is 32 pounds. So many dead adventurers. Seems like a lot of people have tried this initiation, right? No, I didn't want that. Ah, well, I have it. So many skulls. Kite and shield. And Wasteland 2. Did you play Wasteland 3? By any chance? Fallout 2, we need to go back and finish. Um, I'm hoping that my save carries over to this PC. At least you'd be left for dead. Yeah, and left for dead too. So that matters the amount of times I tried to kill it. Yes. <sighs> and it's all on tape. We have it. Oh, it's on your wish list? Cool, cool. Nordic Claymore. I'm assuming that I'm just going to be going through all these places and just waiting until we find that, that bow and arrow. Or that bow or whatever. This is cool, though. I like this. It's very different from everything else we've seen. I mean, I've never played Skyrim, so having play, not played Final Fantasy is not high on my list. Yeah. Even put that on YouTube, didn't you? Yes, I did. Everyone will know the truth, Shadow. You will not be able to hide in the shadows anymore. <laughs> um, do exclamation mark YouTube, I believe, is the command for the link to the uh, YouTubes. Yep, I got a YouTube. It's it's nothing special. It's just an archive, really, of all the streams. Kakuna Burial. <laughs> Here we go. Hmm. Lots of terrible gameplay. That's what I can guarantee you there. Ooh, boy. Hey, nice. <laughs> Whenever you're really bored, <laughs> you can just have it on in the background. There's only like, I don't know, a thousand or two thousand hours of stuff on there or something like that. I'm stuck. Ooh, that's a way up. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, get poked. Get poked. ha. <laughs> <laughs> At least I keep a record of all my past failings. Well, there we go. Yeah, at one point I wanted to try and do the whole entire, like, make highlights um, of all the streams and put them on there. Like with any moments that are silly or funny or whatever or weird things happen. But uh, it takes a lot of work and I don't, I don't have the time. Stopped up uploading to YouTube, but took a lot of time to edit videos. And yeah. Like, luckily, I got that down to a system. So, I can do that. But yeah, it's like, it's like pretty much the, the, the absolute least that I, that I can, uh, put in as far as time goes. Sounds like something's trying to kill me. It was like a second job. What I basically do is that, so, at the same time that I'm streaming, I'm recording. And I take that recording as soon as the stream ends, and I put it into DaVinci Resolve, and just cut it. And then have that render. Then in the morning, I handbrake it, because the file comes out to like 100 gigs. I handbrake it, that brings it down to like 20 gigs. And then, whenever I'm not streaming or I have time, I uh, upload it to uh, YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what the monetization or like how the monetization works on YouTube either, but I, this is going to seem dumb, but I, I, I want to keep it there, especially because I want my kids to like be able to like, hey, if you guys ever want to see what daddy used to do on his free time, check it out. And every now and then 
Like they, like for some reason they really like my Kingdom Hearts playthrough, so they watch that every now and then. Um, so yeah, and they, and they think it's awesome. So that, that's always fun. You come up with titles for each episode and then prepare a thumbnail with it. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't even come up with a special thumbnail. Um, a lot of times the thumbnails that I see on YouTube kind of bother me. So, so to me, I'm like, nah, I, I just find a wallpaper that I like of the game and I use that. What is, is, is there a cliff racer in here? Oh, there's a spear. Did I miss you? And besides the cut, I like to touch the audio if necessary. Yeah. I've seen that you can do that. I've, I've just never tried it. Um, I just recently realized that you can um, record on using different tracks. And you can, like, play with the audio afterwards. But I'm like, that's too much work. I don't have I don't have the time. And integrate a chat overlay if I don't have it on stream. Ah, record that ch the chat separately to integrate for YouTube. Oh, that's cool. You're probably curious of who... The shadow guy is that keeps making fun of their dad. <laughs> Actually, you know what's funny? Is that they think it's funny when I'm like, What's up, shadow? This and that, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. They finally found me. They, they, they've been finding me a lot. Just I'm surprised that they'd be in a cave. Do you have a name you prefer to be called online or just or just casual? I go by casual, CRG, J, some people say. Uh, it's... I try to not use that. Like, I put it on my videos and stuff, but I try to not have that used. Because it does feel a little bit weird at the same time. Because that is my actual name. I need to get up there. But yeah, usually CRG is kind of what everyone calls me. Go! Okay. Um. Oh, let me guess. I'm supposed to use levitation. This looks like there'd be something over there. Although, isn't that where we came from? Oh! <gasps> Secrets! Alright! I found the wishing well. Look at me. Oh, I bet there's something awesome up there. It's the internet. No one uses their real name here. Keep that in mind for online dating sites, fellas. <laughs> Alright, who's in here that wants to fight? Okay, I need to stop doing that. Whoa! I did it! I did it! Uh, I did it! Okay, cool. Really, though, what's, what's trying to fight me that, like, is having the hardest time trying to find me? Okay. <laughs> Diz Dizzy is not your actual name. Okay. You never know. But Shadow's name is actually Shadow. Wow! No! Hey, what are you... Can I use your head for a second? Can nice. Thanks for the boost. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh no. Oh, there's a couple chests up there. <laughs> come on come on just oh yes okay oh wait but no we already tried this we can't get up there oh my gosh oh well okay I can remember when, when we found the the area like that in Fallout New Vegas <laughs> 
there was one one mission where, where we just went around everything and got right to where we were supposed to go without using a key. It's <laughs> pretty awesome. Mm, oh, well. Alright, whatever. We're, we're out of here. Oh, whoa! There's a couple of them. Where were you hiding? Stop moving! Uh-oh. Oh, point blank! I'm out. Goodbye. Heavy armor is now 30. Heavy armor? I'm wearing heavy armor? Oh, you know what? It must be the helmet. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yeah. Get wrecked. Nice. <laughs> All right, so clearly that is not where we're supposed to go either. You know what? We we've, we've been playing in this game for what? We or we've been streaming this game for like what? 50 hours maybe close. And uh I'm not sick of this music. Not sick of it at all. Is this dungeon part of the main quest or just random? Uh I think it's main quest. Um, the Urshkalu camp, uh, the leader sent me here to perform an initiation rite of getting some bow that belonged to, um, some ancestor or something. Hey, Regent, how's it going? Yes, I'm still bow hunting. Yes, it's part of a trial. Yep. Unlike the ones in... Breath of the Wild. It's a main quest? Okay. Yes, then I'm on, then I am on main quest. Dead. Oh. That was good. Oh! Oh, that's funny. I took it. Let's go. It's proving to a camp that he's the chosen one. I know, like, they wouldn't just take my word for it. It was kind of rude. Living had a few interesting dungeons and Aelid ruins too, but the kind, but they kind of looked the same many times. And worst of all, the loot was just auto leveled, so there was no point to exploring, and all enemies auto leveled too. So basically, in Oblivion, it's kind of just keep your eye on the prize as far as um, the main story goes. Do you think CRJ has now has been bow hunting for three streams now? K kind of, but. Not really. I got here last night. So really, we, we've been bow hunting for 50 minutes. <laughs> you can explore, of course, but I found it much less satisfying. It'll be interesting to play Oblivion, though, because I've, I've heard, for some people, it's their favorite one. So... I am also interested uh, to actually get a playthrough of um, Dragon Age going. Oh yeah, so Dizzy, I don't know if you were here the other day, but um, or yesterday. So I had to take Quantum Break off of the docket because I found that I didn't have the game. I thought I had it, and I, I, and I don't. Oblivion was when Bethesda really hit it big. Oh, so a lot more people got into TES with the, the Morrowind, which means a lot more people like it most. It was their first experience with it, basically, right? Because I'll, I'll admit, that's kind of how I am with games. So, you know, I mean, like, the easiest one for me to go back to is, is Dark Souls. And we played Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 here. At this point, it's been four to five years ago for 
we started we played through dark souls one before the remaster even came out so five years ago and then i think right after that we played dark souls 2 and then in 2017 we played oh my gosh oh whoa was dark souls six years ago it may have been wow okay but for yeah so anyways but dark souls 3 to me i think is the better game out of all of them or like the best one out of all of them but my favorite is still one Just because Dark Souls 2 was something totally... That game was something. But Dark Souls 1 to 3, you can tell that 3 was so much more polished than 1. But 1 was my first experience with something like that, and it's special. It's just very different in terms of atmosphere and balance and content design versus Morrowind. Also, didn't they like try to sell like horse armor as DLC? <laughs> Morland's biggest problems is the false longevity, arbitrary RNG, and the cryptic cryptic objectives. Yeah, to me the the map is a little wacky in the way that they tell you to do things. It feels like they never really tell you how to actually get there, even though they're like, yeah, go go southeast. And then they smile at you and it's like, alright, southeast, that's easy. But I don't know, there there there's there's still a charm to this game. Like, I'm really enjoying this. And like I said, like I think we're at like hour 50 or something like that. And I haven't had enough yet. I don't know how long have I known you. Yeah, I... Yeah, you showed up when I started streaming like the halfway point or something. Because I had played Dark Souls off stream. And then I played the rest. Yeah, dude. I think that was... I think that might have been 2016. Have I known you for five years? I feel like I may have. That's what's up many casual gamers from playing the game more than a session or two. Mm-hmm. That was Oblivion 999 horse armor. Wow. Or 499. Was it 499? 499 on console or 999 on console and then 499 499 on PC, maybe? I think I released was <laughs> wow. It was a buck ninety nine for PC? Still think it's funny that everything costs less for PC. That's just silly. I mean, it's nice that it does, but it's just funny that like, yeah, let's charge extra and we're going to do, and both of them were digital downloads. So it's not, so it's not like one should have been more than the other. Some of the DLC houses are good. Frostcrack Spire is the best due to easy achievements or enchantments. It's 249 for consoles, but like, why would they do that? This is, is this the plugins for the games that gives minor extensions? Hey, knife, how's it going? What's up? Huh, all the others died in like one hit. Oh, you were special. Wraith of Sil Cinepal. Oh, here it is, Bone Biter. It's kind of garbage. We did a. <laughs> Woo! The search is over. Since you can only get Oblivion Game of the Year these days with all DLCs, that's not a problem. But speaking of Oblivion versus Mario 1 and DLCs, Oblivion's DLCs aren't nicely integrated into the story. They are not? You just get messages at the start of the game out of nowhere about going somewhere and doing the DLC content. Like, oh, that's... Yeah, that's, that's how they do it in Fallout 3 and um, New Vegas. 4 might have done it that, that way, too. I don't remember though. I think I think that's how it worked. Gotta get those two Oblivion DLCs. Um, knife. I believe if you have Game Pass, you should be able to download download them for free. I think. Earth Earth does it uh, nowadays with the Creation Club, Nyx Hounds, Sunder, and Wraith Guard, Spear of Bitter Mercy. Da damaging agility. That means they can't hit you. What? Really? Whoa, really? I've been selling everything that says that it like drains such stuff. Yeah, that's nice. Look, look at me. I went, I went behind everything. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Take it back. 
Morrowind, the DLCs are heavily integrated in the game and Tribunal adds the assassin attacks. You know what's strange? I mentioned it yesterday. We haven't gotten an assassin attack in a long time. In a really long time. Blood Moon adds a few messages at random NPCs in an area that you can travel to through any way you want. Flying, swimming, fast travel. Um, are those the sleepers or are the sleepers soul time? Much prefer that way of integrating the DLCs that then random messages out of nowhere. Yeah. True, true. Go, go. Yo, we did it. When there's a will, there's a way. Remember that. Common Soul Gem. There we go. Nice. Wait, that's where we came from, isn't it? Yish. Well, look at us go. We're like Indiana Jones, which we found in this game. That That is that little Easter egg that they put in there for Indiana Jones was fantastic. So good. Oh, and regen, check out my new sword. Sweet, eh? I think that was the last the last one. There's that thing over there. That we weren't able to get. That was a really good jump. Agility determines your hit chance, your resistance to being knocked out, how much fatigue you have, and skills like block, sneak, and marksman. Um, so when I see things like this, drain fatigue, when it's red like that, does that mean it'll drain the enemies or it'll drain mine? Because I've been selling those because I thought that they would hurt me. I think we've been to both sides. I think I think we're good to go now. Need to get DMC4 and continue. Yes, I do. I know. Uh, I'm waiting for it to like. I don't like paying a billion dollars for a game that's really old. <laughs> so I'd have to wait until it's on a decent discount. Or that it gets on Game Pass or something. Because I already own it on console, so I'd, I'd hate to like pay like full price for it again. Only way to find out is to use one to find out. That's true. Good try that. If an opponent has low agility, they're gonna they're prone to going to sleep in the middle of a fight, which means they take more damage than that's that's when they like when they like keel over, right? And then they get back up. Drain temporarily lowers the stat damage, harms it until you restore it. That was a long way. Well, we did it. Look at us. Only took like a week. But we finally got that bow, right? Oh, why? 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 Oh my goodness, casual gamer. All right, so now, what, we just head north, right? Northwest. This way. Oh my gosh, look at how close it was. Drain health is a powerful spell early on in Oblivion because it can drain an enemy's health to zero if it's enough. It's cheap to use and can end a fight quicker than spamming your weapons. It seems the special edition has at 25, the regular edition is 19. Yeah, that's too expensive when I already purchased it on console. <laughs> that's why I'm saying, like, I have I I already have it. 
just I can't stream it from from my console. Also, the internet is so bad for me that I can't load your stream. Nani? But you can hear me. Um, you can lower the the quality of the stream. Like don't like don't put it so it's on the highest. Put it so it's on um like if you're watching on your phone or something, put it on 480p and it, it it'll still look decent. Yeah. Dude, I've already like bought things like three times on on a uh, different platforms. It's I got to get out of that habit. It's bad. Sakitas. Where I think this guy's in here. What is following me? I am the Nero of Arene. You should not be speaking to me this way. They have no respect. Here he is. Yo, you want this really cheap bow that I got for you? This is my father's bone biter bow. You have completed the initiation right. I name you Casual, clan friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow and bear it with honor. You are a friend of our tribe and may rest in any Urshuliku Ur bed. But do not harm other tribe members or take their things. And now I will fulfill my other promise. Go to the wise woman's yurt and Nibani Maesa will examine you and test you against the Nerevarine prophecies. <laughs> now that you are a clan friend, I want you to speak plainly. I find it hard to believe that you are the Nerevarine. You are an outlander, but the Nerevarine comes to drive all outlanders from Morrowind. How could an outlander be the incarnate? The great houses stole our lands and mocked us with false gods. The godless outlanders steal our land and our dignity. The Ner the Nerevarine is the last hope of uh, the last hope the Ashlanders have. I will let no outlander steal this hope from us. These are serious words, casual words of life and death. I see honor and merit in you, and I'm and I'm proud to name you clan friend. But take care of what you say and do in the name of Nerevarine. Now go question Nabane Maesa and learn all she can tell you. You know what? There was one thing that kind of bothered me about this game is that there's no karma system. I am not the Nerevarine yet. I am. They know. I love the way Morrowind handled the, is the prophecy's fulfillment. Very pragmatic. You. But now... But he's telling me to, like, not steal from, from these people and stuff. <laughs> hey there. I like your bed. I think I'm gonna sleep in you it. You may speak. Thank you. Oh. What? I can't sleep in someone else's bed. I was just told I could. <laughs> what? what is this? I was... Did you lie to me? You... Why... Why do you have two beds? May I help you? So when you said I can sleep in any of the beds here, you meant just yours. I got it. I got it. Not some random ladies, but hey, I am the Nera Varine. <laughs> I do what I want. Okay. Let's go talk to um the wise woman. I'm listening. Go ahead. All of a sudden they want to listen. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Huh. Outlander. Outlander. Hi, I'm smart. Here we go. So they've told me of you, Outlander, or shall I say clan friend? You are hard headed and ignorant. <laughs> Please don't, don't, don't try and, you know, butter me up enough, you know. <laughs> That's some good lore there. <laughs> we moved up from Inwa to ignorant, exactly. Huge evolution. <laughs> yes, and that's and that is pretty much Skyrim. Dragons, you get to fight dragons. But but they barely cause any type of challenge. Yeah, but they're dragons. It's awesome. You can change them into Thomas the Tank Engine. 
<laughs> but perhaps it is not your fault. My Lord Ashkin says you will ask me about the Nerevarine prophecies. I hate saying that word. Nerevarine. He also says I will test you against the Nerevarine prophecies. I must do as my Lord Ashkin says, so ask your questions and I will test you. Dragons are pretty cool, I must admit. They're, they're cool in Skyrim, but they don't really cause much of a challenge. Uh, I remember one of the earliest Morrowind mods I tried was some kind of dragon mod. Forgot the details. It was memorable, huh? Um... Hmm. Under Sun and Sky Outlander, we greet you warmly. Oh my gosh. All of a the sudden, they're nice as pie. But the little weak dragons ruled Skyrim, and now they don't. They're back because. <laughs> oh, you could ride it? It was like a levitate spell that wouldn't run out. I don't want to hear you say anything about a challenging in Skyrim until you play. Nah. Dude, I. I don't like the legendary difficulty in that game. It's just, hey, let's put lots of extra health. Don't do anything about their dumb AI. Just give them a lot more health. Boom. Legendary. Nah. I don't like it. <laughs> Pass the test. Oh, no. You are not the Nerevarine. You are the you are one who may become the Nerevarine. It is a puzzle and a hard one, but you have found some of the pieces and you may find more. Do you choose to be the Nerevarine? Then seek the lost prophecies among the dissident priests of the temple. Find the lost prophecies, bring them to me, and I will be your guide. And take these copies of the Stranger and the Seven Visions. Now I have told you all I know. Go, think on what I have told you and do what must be done. Did I fail? Did it, did I did I fail this? Or is this normal? <laughs> it's Ashlanders, it's normal. Kappa? Is there really... Wait, wait, wait. Is, is there a way to pass this test? I got the stupid bow. I did it. You should just... Even your helpful NPCs are stronger and higher difficulty. Um, they take the hits for you, I would imagine. They, they take the initial hits for you, maybe. Well, this makes me sad. The Seven Visions. The full title of the prophecy is Seven Visions of Seven Trials of the Incarnate. Listen, and I will tell you the verses. Seven Trials. What he puts his hand to, that shall be done. What is left undone, that shall be done. The first trial. On a certain day to uncertain parents, incarnate moon and star... Wait, they, they said that at the beginning of the game. This is the next question. She says what you need to hear. She's like the Matrix Oracle. <laughs> oh, she looked into my mouth, asked you to open wide, and you said, and said, you're not the Nerverine. Oh, great. But she gave me a cookie, though, so it was all good. Uh, neither blight nor age can harm him. The curse of flesh before him flies. In caverns dark, Azura's eyes sees and makes to shine the moon and star. A stranger's voice unties the houses. Three halls call him Horatatar, Horatatar. A stranger's hand unites the Velothi. Four tribes call him Nerevarine. He honors blood of the tribe unmourned. He, he eats their sin and is reborn. Uh, his mercy frees the cursed false gods, binds the broken, redeems the mad. One destiny. He speaks the law for Velos people. He speaks for their land and names them great. Uh, what does this prophecy mean? I don't know. It tells us who the Nerevarim will be, and the trials must be must he must undergo before he fulfills his destiny. Some parts I understand, some parts I do not. I will answer your questions as I best I can, but I cannot pretend to understand it all. <laughs> Great, so good for nothing. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Tell me stuff about the Ghost Gate. It's a great warrior's fort of the Settle People. It blocks only the, the only hole in the magic wall that keeps Dagoth Ur and his evil trapped inside. These warriors... Are, okay, I've heard this before. Well. And here I was thinking, like, we're almost done! The Stranger? Yo, we in Fallout now. This is the best known... Wait, this is the best known of the Nerevarian prophecies. We call it the Stranger. Uh, when Earth is sundered and skies choke black, and sleepers serve the seven curses, to the hearth there comes a stranger, journey far neath the moon and star. Though stark born to, to sire uncertain, his aspect marks his certain fate. Wicked stalk him, righteous curse him, prophets speak, but all deny. Many trials make manifest that strangers fate the curse the curse's bane. Many touchstones try the stranger, many fall, but one remains. You're never almost done. I guess not. Good for nothing. She told you everything you need to know, and you threw it back in her face. I did not throw anything back in her face. She, she look 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 at the face she's making at me. Just an act two of Morrowin. Sorry, I haven't even left act one yet. This is still the prologue. Oh my. Wow. Okay. Can you tell me something about my dreams? I think she's already told me this before. First trial. This refers to your birth sign. To your birth on a certain day to uncertain parents just like, these, it was just like in the Stranger Prophecy. Um... I'm not sure what this means. Will the Never Nerevarin come as a spirit who is not harmed by blight or age? I don't know, but I think curse of flesh means the blight disease corporis, which causes terrible distorted growths on its victims. Perhaps the Nerevarin can heal the disease. Perhaps that will be a sign of the Nerevarin. 50 hours in and it's still the prologue, I guess. I know my moral win, but he's nearing the second act. Hmm. Second trial. I'm not reading that again. Third trial. In legend, there is a shrine to Azura called the Cavern of Incarnate. There are secrets I may not tell you about this cavern. Do not ask. A Hordador is a war leader chosen when Dunmer great houses must put aside their normal feuds to unite against a common enemy. This has not happened since the Empire invaded our land. The Ashlanders are sometimes called the Velothi, for the prophet Vel Veloth who guided us to this land many, many centuries ago. And the four tribes are the four tribes of Vardenfell, Urshliku, Ahimusa, Zainab, and Arabinism. I would truly be a miracle. It would truly be a miracle to unite these four tribes who have so long waited, or waited and warred with one another. But the Nervery must be one who performs miracles. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure. The tribe un unmourned may mean the sixth house, House State Goth, which was exterminated after the Battle of Red Mountain. But it may also mean the Dwemer or the Dwarves, as Westerners call them. And, ca and eating sin is doing atonement for another sin. The cursed false gods must be the tribunal. They are surely false gods, evil sorcerers, and necromancers that they murdered in Nerevar so they might set themselves up as gods. Binds the broken must refer to the Nerevar's broken promise to the Ashlanders to honor the ways of the spirits and rights of the land. Seven visions. The full title of the prophecy is the seven... Okay, did I... Okay, she already... We already did this. Okay. One destiny. Velos people are the... Okay. We did that already. Zainab. The Ashlanders of the Zainab tribe are sly and crafty. Their camp is the interior of the Grazelands. I think I remember going, seeing that before. Ahamusa. The Ahamusa of the Grazelands are mild and peace loving. The wise woman of the ah Ahamusa, Sinamu Miripal, is also their Ashkin. Birth sign. 
In Samuel, persons born under certain constellations are said to be fortunate in their aspects. Such persons are often blessed or cursed with remarkable ab abilities or weaknesses as a, result, as a result of the magical conjunctions of celestial influences. The Irabinimism of Molag Mar love themselves and their weapons above all else. Their Ashkin Ulath Paul is cruel and ambitious, and his Gulakins are also just like him. Their wise woman Manerai is cautious and reasonable. Seek her counsel. Don't waste your speech on the war cons. Okay, was there one other one? Hello? Can she tell me about the sleepers? Rumors say that in the towns, mad cultists called sleepers are attacking people, saying that Dagoth Ur has awakened and will drive the outlanders from Morrowind. Perhaps it is just a coincidence, but I think it is a sign of the Nerevarin. Not necessarily a sign that you are the Nerevarin. Perhaps the time of the Nerevarin has come, and you have come at the same time. This is not a passing a test, but it may mean that you have some part to play in the coming of the Nerevarin. The Moon and Star is also the shape of the province of Morrowind. Really? Okay, we got a bunch of information that I honestly don't know what what to do with. Muthsera? Excuse me? Welcome, favorite guest. My yurt and hearth are yours. You hear that? Uh, okay. Let's talk. Clan friend, welcome. If you have come to speak to Nibai Maesa, you will find her in your yurt. I see nothing. Outlander, what do you want? Okay. Uh, let me see. So what? Is that, is that supposed to be the star or... You want to send a picture of the province? Do you mean this? All right, hold on. So, I'm not the Nerevarine, but I may become the Nerev. Seems she is willing to help me unravel the Nerevarine prophecies, and my partner them. She tells me to seek the lost prophecies among the dissident priests of the temple. If I bring these lost prophecies to her, she will be my guide, and she gave me copies of the Nervarine. Okay, dissident priests. Uh, the dissident priests dispute temple doctrine and are outlawed and persecuted by the temple. Ordin <laughs> excuse me. Ordinators arrest and imprison heretics, and the empire cannot interfere. Progress of truth, listen to beliefs, in brief, they challenge the purity and dignity and divinity of the tribunal suggesting their powers as sorceress not divine and perhaps akin to the powers of Jagoth Ur. They also condemn the arbitrary power of the ordinators and accuse the temple hier hierarchy of self-interest and corruption. Varnfell is the star. The rest of Morrowind is the crescent moon. Okay. So is this is this Varnfell? Here? This tiny little patch of islands so I have to look for the dissident priests apparently of the temple tribunal temple is the native religion they worship three gods usually call it All Malexia, Sothisil, and Vivek, who are known together as the tribunal, we usually just call it the temple. They're narrow-minded and superstitious, but I find a lot of to admire, particularly their concern for the poor. They accept outlanders as members, but few outlanders join except for the services. Talk to Feldrello. So should I go to... So it says here to talk to Fel, Feldrello Sad, Sadri at the Balmora Temple if you're thinking about joining. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Oh, look, they they marked where the camps are. Look, Ahamusa, Zainab. That's that camp. And hello, Mount Azanarabi. So there's three of them. Fields of Kumu. And here's, wait. So I probably need to talk to the camps, right? That's what I'm assuming. So I gotta go west, uh, east. Do I know you? Don't I work for Caius? Nah, we're 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 just pals. We, I don't work for him. Maybe he knows what to do. Maybe. Uh, you know what? I mean, if that's the case. Seven. Come on. It looks like he's probably going to tell me, like, go go talk to that person. Wealth beyond measure. Outlander. That's that's what my best guess is. What is this about? Hi. Don't mind me. Wow, look at that. Rest a little bit and you're all good. We're in Nissus. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Uh, can I can I sell you? You're probably not gonna want any of this stuff, do you? Nope. Make small one-second spells as a means to pr to practice your magical skills. Make them. Here, would you like this book? Yes. Did I just get rid of a book that I should keep? The Four Sisters Suitors of Benita? No. Spirit of the Daedra? No. Fay Falcon? Don't know what that is. His magic impairs. I don't think he knows how to make spells. I've seen it. I've seen it. Uh, I've seen it, but I've just never used it. It's the grindiest way to level up, but it never fails. Now someone in the mage in the mages guild. I think I'm just gonna get rid of this stuff. Uh, although she has no money, so forget it. You have five hundred. Wait, you know what? No, I, I, I should hold on to it. I should. I don't think I've actually ever been here. Hi. Blades. What is Nissus? This is a, is a small agricultural village on the Uda Samzi with a prosperous little egg mine. We sit on the caravan route to Aldrun. With silt rider service and traders come through here often. Like any small outland caravan village, it has a market. This is temple and a trade house, the Matic Trade House. Like most outland vi villagers, there's a death's head legion garrison in Nissus, and pilgrims come to see the mask of Vivek at the Nissus temple. Hey, Mario. 
How's it going? Let's hear it. We have fulfilled our initiation right. All right, where where is the silt rider? We need to get We need to get moving. See, I'd never been here. <laughs> they just brought me here. And there's a silt rider. Or the silt strider. Are they going to get mad if I just look in this chest? Yep. Yep, they're mad. Let's go. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Oh, you talk so sweetly. I like you. Oh, I was thinking we were going to be closer to Balmora than, than we are. You can look in a container, but never grab anything inside. <laughs> I can just look at the goods, but don't touch. Is that what you're saying? Why walk when you can ride? That sounds delicious, Mario. Unless you're sneaky. I am sneaky, I thought. This guy's gonna be like, hey, Nerevarine, and I'm gonna be like, actually, they told me I'm not. <laughs> Stick his I'd neck. Be happy to talk. My pleasure, really. Yeah? Are you here to discuss your orders, Casual, or is there something else you want? What are my orders right now? You've spoken with Sulmatul and Neb Nibani Mayasa, and from what they say, sounds like you could really be the Nerevarine. That's just incredible. <laughs> He, he must be reading between the lines or something. The shirtless man, yes. But I'll have to get used to the idea. Let me try to get word to Miramilo. Maybe she can find out whether the dissident priests have any lost prophecies. But in the meantime, I have a very tough assignment for you. Do you think you're ready? Dude, always. Hmm, don't get overconfident, but it so happens that I agree. You're ready. But just in case, I'm going to give you 400 drakes. Before you head out, make sure you outfit yourself with healing potions, new gear, a little training, whatever you think you need most. And remember, if you get in trouble, back off, rest up, and go back fresh. Don't get cocky. I think this will be a tough one. Here's your mission, Fort Buckmoth. I was just down the street from there. Sent a patrol to Gnar Mok, hunting smugglers with six house connections. They found a six house base, a six house shrine, and a six house priest named Dagoth Gares. Speak to the champion Raisa Puglia. At Fort Buckmoth, she'll tell you about the patrol and the six house base. Your orders find that six house base, kill Dickoth Garrus, and bring me a full report on the six house base. Did I already do this? Most ripped 80 year old main NPC I've ever seen. Same. <laughs> he's a great inconspicuous spy. They all just think he's nuts because he walks around naked. Do part of the main quest, he can definitely be used, of a, used to a thief. Any? Domain is the spiritual leader of the Khajiit, but I'm not a Khajiit. Okay, um, Fort Buckmoth. It's the Imperial Legion's garrison for Ritterin District. The fort lies south of Aldrune, a short walk from Aldrune's south gate. I have a feeling I already killed this Dagoth here. All right, so back to the Silt Rider we go. Don't look at you? Okay. I am a Bosmer.
I didn't kill that Dagoth. Are you sure? I've, I've, I've killed a Dagoth. You're a demo always in all TES playthroughs. Really? Um, both times I think that I played Skyrim, I was um, a Red Guard. No, I think the very first time I ever played it, I was a Red Guard. I think when we did our playthrough on Mixer, I think I think Why I was a door. You can run. Was I? I can't remember. Yeah, I like the Red Guard just because because they were uh, pretty much like decent at, at at everything, I guess. If I remember correctly, there are tons of Dagoth. Okay. Said, go out the southern gate. There it is. That's funny. And earlier I was like, oh, there's a fort, but I'm not going to go there. Keep my eyes on the prize. I'd know if you'd kill the specific Dagoth. But what happens if it happened when you weren't here? Yeah, it's Dagoth Garrus or something like that. Not Garrus like in Mass Effect. Which I'm hoping they give us more information on the remasters for Mass Effect. I'm still not sold on them. He's the main Dagoth, the big bad of the baddies. Oh, yeah. Are they going to get mad if I if I take stuff out of their crates? Huh? Huh? No. Nah. Oh. Don't want that stuff. They don't seem to care. Hey, also, I don't know if any of you have uh, played The Outer Worlds, but The Outer Worlds just came, uh, came out with a new DLC. Or they're coming out with a new DLC, I should say. D Digoth is like Darth. His house members are also named Digoth and are Ash followers of the sixth house. Okay. No, uh, and the outer worlds, outer, outer worlds is pretty cool. I I didn't get too far into it because my PC couldn't handle it. I think the Outer Worlds is on Game Pass. I've uh, been meaning to play. Yes, it is on uh, Game Pass. I don't know if they if if they allow you to play the the DLCs for free, but I would hope maybe. So much bone meal. Bread. Oh. There we go. We had 20 of those eggs. I don't have money or a new age console. That was explained three quests ago. Keep up with your history lessons, Cash. <laughs> I forget everything. There's also a lot of information. I think the base game is on Game Pass, but the DLC is paid to play or something. Okay. <laughs> Morrowind is like a school, and only the best students can ace it. How much does the new Xbox cost? For the Series X, it's 500 and for the Series S, it's 300 
I don't have like enough of anything. Okay, we're we're low. It was it was those yeah. eggs. Excuse me. Hi. What what did I want to do here? Uh. Rasapulia. Uh, no, the Series X is 500. It's definitely 500 because that's what I paid for it. Slot for console, maybe I should wait until it becomes obsolete to the XS. <laughs> um, the X is definitely, uh, it's a very capable machine. Very, very capable. If you can, trade trade in your old Xboxes or Xbox for it or to towards it. Um, I would definitely though, like, I mean, if you can, like, always go PC, I would say. Working style of speechcraft and athletics. Oh, a book. Ah, it's you. Let's look you in the let's look you in the eyes. I am Rasapulia, champion of the Legion Garrison here at Buckmoth Legion Fort, and you're casual. Kai's Kasada sent you, didn't he? Kai says you're the one to handle the six house base near Gunnar Mok. Only one trooper returned. He died soon after, horribly disfigured with corpus disease, and out of his wits and his ravings and, and, and out of his wits. In his ravings he spoke of a cavern on the coast. He called it Elunubi. Uh, it's not on our maps. Try asking the locals in Gunnar Mok. They fought with cultists and disfigured man beasts. Corpus monsters, I think. They fled the ant the attackers and got lost in the caves. Then they ran into a half man creature named Dagoth Garrus. <laughs> excuse me. This day got Garris slew the rest of the patrol, but spread the one trooper. Spared the one trooper. He told the trooper he was being spared so he might tell the others that the sleeper awakes and the sixth house has risen. And Dagoth Ur is Lord, and I am his priest, and all will be one with him in the flesh. The trooper awakened outside the caves and returned here. We would we we couldn't recognize him, and he didn't respond to questions. Just kept rambling on like a madman until he died. Okay, Ganar Mok is an island. Uh, fishing village on the bitter coast, roughly west of Caldera in Aldrun. Here, let me mark it on your map. There is no marked route to Gunnar Mok from Aldrun. It's no easy trip. Our patrols take the Balmora Road. At the Nessus Balmora Aldrun signpost goes south, then immediately west on a side road to Drooling's to Drooling Phelan's cottage. Then head cross country west to the coast with the old Dummer stronghold at Endasrith and as a landmark. When you hit the coast, turn south. Did, did you get all that? <laughs> um, okay. Uh, follow the coast, waiting around headlands when necessary. Pass a shipwreck when the coast levels out and turns from barren rock to green swamp. You're in the bitter coast region. Keep south with the water on your left until you see Gunnar Mok, an island just off the coast. There's a crude plank bridge through some rocks to the island itself. It's a rough place, popular with adventurers, smugglers, and outlaws, but maybe some in Gunnar Mok can tell you how to find Illinubi Sea Caverns. That's what the dead stranger called the Sea Caverns, where he found the Sixth House, sixth house Base. It's not on our maps, and no one here has heard of it. Maybe the locals in Gunnar Mok can tell more, uh, uh, can tell where to find it, or maybe have to search for it yourself. Sounds familiar. All right, so Gunnar Mok and Illinubi. Well, there's Gunnar Mock. So maybe it's somewhere around here. Alright, so head west, basically. The smooth skin, <laughs> smooth skin looks angry. <laughs> the Xbox Series S is smaller and uses 20 or 30%. Yes. Um, it also tends to run everything at 1080p for the most part. Uh, the Series X tends to get closer to 4k on everything um and it also gets a lot closer to holding a 
steady 60 frames a second. <laughs> Where's... Okay. I feel like I've already been there before. This is not Open Morrowind. Um, what what exactly is Open Morrowind? Although, if I'm asking that question, it's probably not it. No. <laughs> it's one of console that plays that plays games. Um, depends on which games you want to play. Series S has 4K built in. It has a 4K capability for discs and such. Just because something is 4K. Dude, I did I just punch this thing? Uh, just because something is 4K capable does not mean it will actually output at 4K. It's an open source from scratch Im implementation of the Morrowind engine. It supports vanilla game files mods. Um, is I I use MGSE. I I, I don't know if those are like one and the same or. Don't trust Sony's decisions recently and Nintendo is not seeming appealing currently. Uh, I will tell you this. The Switch in my house gets used the most, but it, it's also... We, we tend to play a lot of games as a family, so it definitely works out for us. Uh, the Xbox is also used a lot. Um, the PlayStation currently doesn't get used much. Yo, knife! Did you hear what Rockstar did? You mean about the, um, the modder that, like, fixed G... GTA 5 or something that was wrong with GTA 5 on PC or something. PCF has an, as an Aspire, so I can't PC game. What's an, as an Aspire? What's that? Uh, MGSC is not for opening. Oh, okay, yeah. Then, um, th then it, it's not that. What did Rockstar do? <laughs> it would. I. I'm waiting for them to announce another Grand Theft Auto. Cause uh, what Grand Theft Auto Five came out in what 2011 or 2012? It's been a really long time. They probably don't want to though because Grand Theft Auto Online makes so much money. Yeah, that update also went to X. It went to Xbox for some reason, and now you can get it online. And now you can't get online. Oh, that's not good, especially because that's where Rockstar makes their money. At some point, we're gonna play through the Grand Theft Auto games as well, starting from three, not not from uh, one or two. But that should be fun because Grand Theft Auto 3 is actually one of my favorite games. So, it'll be a lot of fun. Sounds like they pushed the update early button again. Bethesda did the same thing with the... Um, well, what's cool too, and I'm surprised that no one has brought this up. Um, Fallout 76, I think is one of them. Prey and Dishonored all now run at 60 frames on uh, Xbox. Oh, on the Xbox Series X, I should say. I'm not sure if it... I'm not sure if it runs at 60 frames on the others. Horsemouth? Welcome, Finder Casual. Shwarwar Horsemouth is my name. Master at Arms is my trade. I'm be happy to share a little advice or more of lore. What's your training? Blunt weapon, long blade, and axe. Hmm. That update for Xbox doesn't even do anything for the low times. Uh, but did it increase the frame rate? Because I believe that's that's what it was. Was that a, is that what it was mainly for on PC? Now, was to help with the frame rate. Aspire is what it's named, but I call it an Aspie because it has occasional pauses of us us. Buffering randomly. 
Sometimes there are minutes between, other times literally seconds after, but it pauses the action for maybe a minute or more. Yikes. I I don't I don't even know what that is. <laughs> so I've never heard of it before. There we go. Is it like a really old laptop? Bum 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 bum. All right, are we getting? Eh, we're getting close, kind of. I have a feeling like someone told us about that horse mouth guy, and I can't remember why. I almost want to say that there, because there was a, a very specific trainer, but he doesn't have any training I want. Oh, it's so hard to see. Oh, okay. They're making some updates to Windows 10 as well. That's 500 gives them memory. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Could you possibly trade that in for money towards the next box? I mean, if that's what you want. Oh, I don't have any stamina. I'm like, wow, now I just miss all the time. It's just a thing. Sylvain Ancestral Tomb. Have I been here before? No. Let us explore. Oh my gosh, it's 10 o'clock already. I barely did anything other than finding a bow. <laughs> Yo, a diamond! PC is important for me for playing Elder Scrolls and learning how to torrent games. <laughs> um, does it run Elder Scrolls 3 okay? What are you rats doing here? It's so interesting to now be using a, a two-handed sword after pretty much just using a one-handed sword the whole entire game. Pair prongs and a ghoul heart. I will take it. Oh no. Nope. 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 Oh boy. This could be tough. Oh my gosh. Yo, you had 23 gold? Gabon. This is this is too easy. Oof. All right, what what were y'all doing in here? Common pants. Honey, where are my pants? <laughs> and I'm over encumbered. Nice. <laughs> Paralyzed. Cool, is that better? Nice. It commanded okay, but the SP stuff is what kills my immersion. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it, like, if it's not able to, like, keep a steady frame rate, yeah, for sure. Common soul gem. Yo, an exquisite ring, 240. 
A bug lamp? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Guide to Sadrith Mora. Well, I've already been there. At least I think so. Cool. Well, that was quick. Oh, you know what, too? We should, um, we need to repair. Use these. Got a couple pieces here that are broken. Uh, can I not fix them? Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 I'm fine. Okay. Phew. I thought I was missing pieces. We're about going west. Oh, southwest. This, this way. A lot of this loading area is happening. A lot of this business. Oh, remember? We came here like ah, at the beginning of our playthrough. I'm pretty sure we've been here already because I think this is where I had to murder a couple people for the Thieves Guild. I didn't feel good about it, but I did it. This is also where we had to kill some, some bandit like three times. He, he showed up three three times right here on the road. Yep. This is the place I was thinking about. <laughs> Why are you mad at me? I didn't hit you. What was that deal? You have killed a breeding netch. It attacked me first. I'm very confused right now. Yo, I level. Hi there, remember me? Hey, you look friendly. You're in Gnar Ma. Go ahead. You ask questions and I'll do the answering. Um, Elunabi. Lumi Caverns, that's what they call the old sea cave up north, up, up on the north end of the island. Okay. Right on Cartog Point. Don't poke around in there. It's a convenient smuggler's hole and they might not welcome visitors. Yes, that's on the western coast, not far from here. It's on the west... Okay, yeah. It's on the western coast, not far from here. It's a gigantic boulder. Some of the orcs consider it a landmark. Why? I don't know. Some orc or another jumped off on a dare. It didn't end well. Okay. You don't think maybe you could uh, mark my map for me? Too bad for killing those next things. Uh, you killed them in Solstein? Okay, Cartog Point in Elun B. Speak, Traveler. Okay, hold on. Oh, nice. Okay, Northwest. She did kind of mark it. Don't be their dangerous things. 
Oh, it's in the Skyrim DLC. Okay. Look at this. Look at us. Making progress. Making copies in progress. There are no niches in Morrowind's soul time. Okay. There's also no cats in America. And the streets are paved with cheese. Although I think it's a lie. All right, we made it to car tag point. Now we're looking for Illin Booby. Car oh! Found it! Oh my. Is there a safer way to do this? Oh, right here. Okay, cool. What did you say? Uh, there are no cats in America and the streets are paved with cheese. Also, you can set your mind at ease. <laughs> I live in America. My streets smell like mold. <laughs> <laughs> Streets made of pies, uh, no, cheese. Unless, you know what? A cheese pie could be considered cheesecake or pizza. We gotta be careful here. You can set your mind at ease. Have none of you seen an American tale? Uh, uh. Nope! Stuck! Stuck! You naked! I sees ya! Just tell that to my boss? Nah. Although they, they would probably understand because they have kids. So they might have seen the movie. A dead adventurer. Silver Staff of Chastening. Not going to take it. It's not worth much. You heard that it had a lot of sequels? I think it had two, maybe? <coughs> Excuse me. Guaranteed CEO. Yo! Uh... <laughs> Did you not realize I was there, friend? A door. Okay. Let's go. Marowak's spine. Isn't Marowak a, a Pokemon? Pretty sure. You missed. Any, anything made by Don Bluth had a crap ton of sequels. Just look at the land before time. Are they also the ones that did Fern Gully? So hard to see. Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> I love their their death animations. It's so good. Oh my goodness.
I think. Yeah, probably. They always had a certain style of animation as well. He has no face. Somebody ate his face. Let's go this way first. Tainted Marrow. <laughs> the names that they gave some of these places. A mine. A mine. Hi. No, no touching. No touching. That zombie was trying to stay warm. Frost after knock. At least I think that that's what it was. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Oh my gosh, I'm almost dead. No one said anything. Twenty-one. I also forgot to rest to level up. Oh, there's two. Yeah, get wrecked. Oh. We're not going to backseat for you? Uh, what you mean? We're doing great right now. Oh, 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 you mean for healing? Party har har. Bum ba dum. Yo, this place is huge. Come on. Oh, am I out of bolts? No, I'm not. Game. What? Oh, where is no escape? As in, you gotta learn to handle your own stats and gameplay. You're you're the gamer. We're just spectators. I don't know. You you were. You were yelling at me pretty well yesterday <laughs> about my poor sense of direction. Mm, okay. Indeed, I was. <laughs> <laughs> At least you admit it. Blackened heart? I wonder if there's supposed to be like some sort of significance of the names for these um caves. Hi!
Oh wow, a skeleton. <laughs> Stop. Oh no. Luckily you're slow. Also, <laughs> you you really like that wall, huh? I remember somebody had the Dead Rising 2 collector's edition and it came with a pen that lo looked like a syringe of Zombrex. Oh, really? That's cool. I need Zombrex. You haven't found that Dagoth yet? He's a sneaky man. Sneaky, sneaky. So sneaky. We gotta be careful, too. We may not have enough. Oh! Wow. wow! Hello! Okay. Well then. <laughs> Three times in a row. What? Oh. I'm preparing for a fight. It's not going to let me, but yeah, I try. Well, I'm like, I'm going to try and rest. Oh, that's a day drop. Darn. I was hoping that was the big guy. Go! Oof! Ooh! That was fast. Whoa, you're right there! You weren't supposed to be right there! What? What? <laughs> ah! That restored no health at all. No! <gasps> yes! Get wrecked. Get wrecked. That was so close. Oh, yeah. Yes, and we have ascended. Okay. Let's do. Yo! Yo! Do speed. Yep, very dead. I even ripped his heart out of his chest. Okay, come on. Okay. That. We just never get jumped anymore. Ever. Look the look like this was a special area up here, so maybe we're getting close to dig off. Souls rattle. Okay. 
Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> wow. What's this? Is this a Daedra Lord? I think so. That was a tough fight. 36 pounds. He was just hanging out over here. Whoa, oh, hey! What? <laughs> that scared me. Couple different ways to go. All right. I'm trusting what you say. I'm back found Pokemon cookies in the fridge. Hey, there you go. Nice. Are they made from real Pokemon? Hey, no, hey. Oh, it's two of you. Uh. The sixth house greets you, Lord Nerevar, or casual as you call yourself. I am known as Dagoth Garrus, priest of an Illanubi shrine, and minister to sixth house servants. My lord, Dagoth Ur, has informed me of your coming. I wish that this time you had come to honor your... Wait. I wish that this time you, you had come to honor your lord's friendship, not to betray it. Illanubi shrine is just a small, quiet retreat for sixth house servants. A place to contemplate and grow strong and wise in the Lord Dagoth's ways. Here we share the sacraments of flesh and blood and dream the dreams of our Lord. This and the other lesser shrines are hidden from prying eyes throughout the land. But the greatest shrines of the six house servants lie beneath Red Mountain in the citadels of our Lord and his close kin. Um... Lord's friendship. Lord Dagoth gives me these words to say to you so you may give them to so you may give them thought. Once we were friends and brothers, Lord Nerevar, in peace and in war. Yet beneath Red Mountain, you struck me down as I guarded the treasure you bound me by oath to defend. But remembering our old friendship, I would forgive you and raise you high in my service. They're Pokeballs? <laughs> my lord... Dagoth bids you come to Red Mountain for the friendship and honor that once you shared. He would grant you counsel and power if only you would pledge that friendship anew. I am not your Lord Dagoth yet. I, too, would say to you. Do you come with weapons to strike me down or would you put your weapons... Uh, put away your weapon and join me in friendship? Six House. Six, Six House was not dead but only sleeping. Now it awakes from... It's long dream, and with its lord, Dagoth Ur, it comes forth to free Morrowind of foreign rulers and divine pretenders. When the land is swept clean of false friends and greedy thieves, the children of Veloth will build a new garden of plenty in this blighted wasteland. The servants. Forgive the rude welcome, but until you have de declared for us, we must treat you as our enemy. The sleepers and dreamers are newly come to Lord Dagoth and not yet blessed with his power, but the children of his flesh they are deep in the heart of his mysteries their bodies swell to contain his glory and to yield the rich sacraments of our lord's feast and we are in the le and we are the least of his servants for ash poets ascended sleepers and ash vampires stand high above us in the lord's bountiful grace um our enemy lord dagoth would far rather have you as a friend than an, as an enemy, but until you submit to him, six house servants will treat you as an enemy and try to destroy you. If you wish to be our friend, first you must go to Lord Dagoth in the, his citadel on Red, on Red Mountain and make your submission. Okay. Dagother. Dagother is the awakened lord of the sixth house. Come to cast down the false gods. Drive for Drive foreigners from the land and restore the ancient glory of Morrowind. He bids you come to Red Mountain for the friendship and honor that once you shared, he would grant you 
counsel, and power. If only you would pledge that friendship anew. The path to Red Mountain is long and filled with danger, but if you are worthy, you will find their wisdom, a firm friend, and all the power you need to set the world right. We already know where that is. There isn't a way to join House Jacoth. Oh, okay, so that's kind of odd that they would give you a choice, but there is no choice. Oh no. No, 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 run, run, run. Woo boy. It was gonna be, but it wasn't implemented. You know what? I, I feel like a lot of the game, they meant to do more than what they did. Yo, am I on fire? Wow, that was hard. With his dying breath, Dagoth, Dagoth Garrus smiles and curses you. Even as my master wills, you shall come to him in his flesh and of his flesh. Six house amulet. Yo, that's the second one I've gotten. Look, I got one the other day. See? Wait, no. Right there. Dream personality. Message from Dagoth Ur. Lord Nerevar Indurel, hi, Resedania. My lord, friend and companion. Once we were friends and brothers, Lord Nerevar, in peace and in war, no houseman ever served you better or more faithfully. Much that I did was at your command at great cost to myself and my honor. Yet beneath Red Mountain, you struck me down as I guarded the treasure. You bowed me by oath. Wait, did I already read this? Okay, I already read that. Yo, all my... S what? I'm so broken. I I have the corpus. All the Elder Scrolls games and a couple of the Fallout games are made with the same engine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They sure are. <laughs> uh, well, that's not so good. That is how you know... Uh, that is how I would know Dagoth Garrus would have been killed. Huh? That looks like it was supposed to, like I was supposed to put something in it. Hmm. Oh, hello. Slowfall potion. Silver staff. Journeyman's hammer. There was some sort of mage that they put in there. Yeah, he did. Glass boots. Another six house amulet. I'm probably gonna take these because they're only three pounds and they're worth they're worth eight thousand. My character is OP, you think so? House of Money is my favorite house, even though I'm an Argonian. <laughs> when you kill Dagoth Garrus, he gives you the gift of the corpus. Gift? Gift? So now no one's going to want to talk to me? Oh, whoa, 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 wait, wait. Yeah, nice. I can just get healed here, right? It brought me back to Balmora. Uh, I think there's an area upstairs. Or is it downstairs? Maybe Kai's will, but that's only because he trusts you.
Well, I'm about to heal myself of the corpus. So I don't spread it to anybody. Healing yourself of the soul sickness. Where's that slave? Here not long ago. Uh wait a second. Wait, cure blight. No, it didn't work. Oh, wait. I should definitely heal myself of something because it fixed all that. It's not taking away the corpus di disease thing. Um, what? I'll be a zombie if I can't get a cure. I need Zombrex. Or an Ashen Monster. Okay, there. That's better? Filthy sweat. Okay. Well, this is probably bad then, huh? Let's go talk to Caius, like you said. The game is doing that thing where it gets all choppy. We should probably wrap things up soon anyways. At least Dagoth Garrus is dead. That is good. Yes. But he left me a parting gift. Not super happy about that. Not, not super jazzed. Need to find a cure before I can become a zombie. Maybe Kai's can help me with that. Although I'm not quite sure if he'll actually know what to do because he's the man that walks around with no shirt. What are you doing out here? I don't have a lot of patience for questions, Outlander. Are you here to see Kai's? Am I interrupting something? Please, I don't wish to catch whatever you have. What? Give me training. My speechcraft is really low. But they got Garrus dead. 
the sixth house shrine is no longer a threat. You've more than earned a promotion to the rank of traveler. I'm very worried that you have corpus disease. Yeah, I have it. I'm sorry. I was honest. But I have some good news in that department. Hey! I canvassed my information, my, my informants for possible treatments just in case you contracted the disease during your admission. I learned from Fast Eddie that your best chance of getting cured is Javaith Fear, an ancient Telvanni wizard who runs a corpusarium for victims of the disease. Here, take this drummer artifact and a thousand drakes and go to tell fear devieth fear will like the dwemer artifact a gift may sweeten a, a gift may sweeten his disposition the gold is for expenses and here's a couple of levitation potions i hear you can you'll need them in the telvani towers because wizards don't use stairs so get moving and get that corpus disease cured then hurry back i think i know how to get the lost prophecies in abani Maisa asked for this wacky character um okay so we need to go to tell fear we've we've been there before or am i thinking of the wrong place I feel like I went there before. Thought I was here in Talbernora, maybe. Telfir is to the east. Hmm. Telfir Devaith Fear's Tower is southwest of of Sagerith Mora. Okay. On an island on the southwestern edge of Zephyrbel Bay. Here, let me mark it on your map. There's a dock, but no boat service, so you must water walk or swim from from Sagerith Mora. Use the guild guide service at the build uh, at the Balmar Mages Guild to reach Sagerith Mora. At Sagerith Mora, find Wolverine Hall, the Fighters Guild, and ask the scout Sundren Arathi for detailed directions to tell fear. I've been to Sage with Mora. I'm over encumbered. Dude, like, what did you give me that's so heavy? Is that egg? These salts. It's bone meal. There. Still over encumbered by one pound. That drummer coherer? 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 What what is that? Whoops. We're, we're going to drop off stuff here, too, so. There. Should, should, should be no, fine. Now. Okay. I don't think so. That's the South Hall Corner Club. Yeah, the game's doing that weird, like, little thing where it's kind of stuttering almost, like. What? Why do you disturb me? I don't have a lot of patience for questions out loud. All right, we're gonna visit our corpse here, and we're gonna have to travel to Sadrith Mora next time. All right.
that helped a little bit. I should, should just keep that ring. Uh, whatever. Oh, this is what you're talking about. Is that one of the things that I use for alchemy? Hmm. That freed up a little a little bit of weight. Not much though. Didn't didn't they give us a new bow? Felt like they gave us a new bow and I don't see it anywhere. Unless I dropped it for some reason. Whatever. Okay. Everyone I'm actually gonna stop it here for the night. The game is starting to be a little silly. It's starting to uh, be a little stuttery and um How do I, I think know the, you're not up to something there's no time devious. to talk now? I oh. think what had to happen last time is that so I had I to said, reboot my PC. Where's the money and in that? We're not gonna do that, because then otherwise I would have to end stream regardless so but anyways i hope you all have enjoyed we actually did a lot of stuff today i think we made some good progress um should be back tomorrow with some more morrowind and i guess we're in as region said we're, we're we're in act two now so i guess we're still pretty early but uh still having a good time hope you all are enjoying and uh hopefully i will see you next time peace